G.I. Joe Weapon Tech Unboxing and Review. A friend of mine sent me this to review. It's the F2K Assault Rifle. On the back of the package you can see the different rifle configurations that you can assemble and a few figures that were also available during this time. Let's open it up and check it out. Once out of the package, you have 19 pieces. The parts are listed on the instructions along with some assembly guidelines. We'll set the instructions aside and look at the parts. The main body of the F2K is solid plastic and nicely detailed. P90 is also just as solid and detailed. Some parts are made of die cast. Like these P90 parts and this F2K part. Very interesting. This grenade launcher part is very cool. The pump part moves. magazine to the F2K has molded bullets and are painted. A very nice detail. Here's a look at the instructions. I found some real-life versions of the guns. Once you put the main parts together, the F2K is almost ready to go. These are very small. I could probably get lost very easily. This barrel is a silencer according to the instructions. This attachment goes on the top of the rifle. These slide onto the top rail of the F2K. It's listed as a fire control system on the instructions. This is called a standard sight. It's cool that the parts can only go on one direction. This part attaches to the bottom of the rifle. This is an integrated laser grip. These attach very firmly to the rifle and can be very challenging to remove. This is an integrated flashlight grip. This is the grenade launcher attachment. This last part is a front hand grip. It's cool that you can swap out parts and build a custom weapon. If I had a 3D printer, I'd love to make guns and parts that you can swap and build your own custom weapons. That would be cool.
Once you get the P90 triple rail part attached, you can start adding barrels. These are the only parts that you can swap between the two guns. The small P90 laser attachment fits onto the side of the triple rail. Then this cool scope fits on top. That's a cool looking gun. They call this the front hand grip. It looks like the red, a red dot sight to me. The magazine attaches behind the red dot sight. The scope and laser sight can't attach to this part, which is a shame. The only other options are different barrels. I think I like this silencer and the short barrel the most. These fit my G.I. Joe's hands very well. It doesn't feel like they could break easily. I was told that some of the weapon techs have loose parts and that you could use glue dots to add support and keep them in place. I've always been fond of the P90. Let's compare them to some other weapons. The 40 guns I did a video on are cool, but they feel that they're not as high quality as the weapon techs. Don't get me wrong, I like the 40 guns. I wish I had a P90 40 gun to compare. The plastic on the weapon tech guns feel more solid, if that makes sense. Comparing the Weapon Tech P90 to a 21st Century Toys P90. The 21st Century Toys P90 has a larger magazine and is a bit more detailed. There's also a sling attachment on the 21st Toys P90. They seem like the same size. Maybe the 21st Century Toys P90 is a bit larger. The F2K is almost as large as the AK-47. Fortunately, I don't have a F2K to compare it to. I think the 4D guns are a great substitute for weapon tech guns. Let me know what you think in the comment section below.